Hi, and welcome. I'm Patrick Hood Daniel, and if you don't know who I am, I've been making videos on microcontroller programming, circuit building and design, and CNC machine technology on this channel since 2007. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy this content. This video focuses only on connecting a plasma torch high controller and configuring Mach 3 to use this feature. Prerequisites are that you already connected cables to the power supplies, powered your drivers, connected signal wires to the drivers, powered the controller, set up the drivers, configured the drivers, connected the motors to the drivers, configured Mach 3 accordingly, and tested the motors to ensure they spin when jogged. You will need the motors to function properly to test the output of the THC to see the Z-axis spin in both directions to demonstrate the arc voltage guiding the Z-axis. If you haven't done this yet, there are links in the description where you can find videos and instructions how to complete the prerequisites. The Plasma THC that I'll be connecting to the Pokies 57 CNC controller is the Plasma Sense Out and Plasma Sense. All of these components are linked in the description. The Plasma Sense is connected to the Plasma Sense Out via a fiber optic cable to isolate the EMI from the plasma torch. I'm preparing a 10 conductor ribbon cable to the encoder connector on the controller. These components are a part of the cable pack I sell at buildyourcnc.com, link in the description. I will use only three of the ribbon conductors, conductors 3, 5, and 7. On the encoder's connector, conductor 3 connects to pin 8, which will be assigned arc up. Conductor 5 connects to pin 12, which will be assigned arc OK. And conductor 7 connects to pin 13, which will be assigned arc down. Since the ribbon cable is a bit delicate to be directly inserted into the Plasma Sense Out device, and that the Plasma Sense Out device is mounted on a DIN rail, I'll be using a cable and connector to connect from the ribbon cable to the Plasma Sense Out. This way, the Plasma Sense Out can live outside of the enclosure to be accessed if needed. The Plasma Sense Out device will also need to be powered, so I'll be wiring the Plasma Sense Out to the power connector of the controller as shown here. The cable that I'm using has a red, black, yellow, green, and blue wire. In this case, the blue wire is connected to the pin 8 or conductor 3. The yellow wire is connected to pin 12 or conductor 5. The green wire is connected to pin 13 or conductor 7. The red wire is connected to the positive 24 volts DC. And the black wire is connected to the DC ground. On the plasma sense out device, terminal 6 is positive DC voltage where the red wire will go. Terminal 5 is the DC ground terminal and where the black wire will go. Terminal 4 is the common terminal and will also be connected to the DC ground with a small jump wire between Terminal 5 and Terminal 4. Terminal 3 is the arc down terminal and will receive the green wire. Terminal 2 is the arc OK terminal and will receive the yellow wire. And Terminal 1 is the arc up terminal and will receive the blue wire. Assuming everything is connected correctly, you can configure Mach 3, plug in the power for the drivers, and connect the controller to the computer that contains the Mach 3 software. On the computer, start Mach 3 software by either starting the Mach 3 loader and selecting the correct profile, or double-click on the Mach 3 shortcut of the profile you want to use. In this case, I started Mach 3 mil by accident, but it doesn't matter since I'm only configuring the pins at this time but it is best to start with the Mach 3 Plasma profile. As a sanity check, I am making sure that my motors are functioning properly. To assign the arc up, arc OK, and arc down, click on plug-in control at the top, then click on the configure Pokies 57 CNC with the ID in brackets. The device settings dialog box will appear. Change the pin 8's function to input and the IO to input THC up. Change the function of pin 12 to input and change the I.O. to input THC on. Change the function of pin 13 to input and change the I.O. to input THC down. You can adjust the widths of the columns to more easily see what was changed and the assignment of these pins. To link the Z-axis to the THC, click on the Pulse Engine Settings tab and click on the Up, Down, Signals radio button. You may need to adjust the gain parameter. I set it to 1 in this case. If you are not in the plasma profile, go into it to test the z-axis movement corresponding to the THC output. Just to verify that the assignments are still the same, I am checking the Pokies 57 CNC configuration. 
I am loading a file that I created that contains a bunch of random rectangles and circles. Enough that can provide enough time to play with the THC. Make sure the THC button is pressed so the green light next to the THC button lights up. Also press the reset button next to the green light. Press the torch on and off button to turn the torch on. Press cycle start. If the torch on off is not on or is not blinking yellow, the program will run and the machine will move. If the torch is on, the machine will only move if Mach 3 gets the signals from the plasma sense out THC that the THC is receiving voltage from the plasma torch. The machine will only move if the plasma torch arc voltage is within the constraints for optimal cutting. Because I don't have a plasma torch connected to the THC to sense the voltage, the THC has a test function that will allow you to simulate a voltage. Once you use the test to simulate the arc up and arc down, you will notice the machine moving again, and the z-axis will move according to the up and down arc voltage of the test. To initiate the test, press and hold the middle button of the THC until you see the letters STD. Keep pressing the middle button until you see three letters TST, which is short for test. Once there, you can press the up or down buttons to simulate the arc voltage going higher or lower, so the z-axis motor compensates for the arc length. You'll notice that when I pressed the up and down arrows on the THC, the X and Y motor started again, and you can see that the z-axis is moving in synchrony with the test up and down buttons. The plasma sense device is optically coupled rather than electrically coupled to the plasma sense out device via a fiber optic cable. To connect, remove the protection tab from the fiber optic connector on the plasma sense out. Remove the protection at the end of the fiber optic cable. Insert the fiber optic cable into the plasma sense out fiber optic connector oriented as shown. The other end of the fiber optic cable is connected to the plasma sense device in the same way. To power the plasma sense, the two terminals next to the fiber optic cable connector will accept 110 or 220 volts AC. The live terminal is the farthest terminal from the fiber optic cable connector. The neutral terminal is the terminal closest to the fiber optic cable. The plasma sense device is connected to the plasma torch in one of two ways. One option is a plus and minus high voltage connection. Terminal one is the high voltage negative connection and terminal 6 is the high voltage positive connection. The other option is to connect a divided voltage of plus or minus 10 volts. The divided positive connection is terminal 3 and the divided negative terminal is 4.